<laughs> Looking after your mental health is productive. Just text, I know it's a toss oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such a The Uber pulling up on call Tell me as you trying to fall through I'ma leave it up to you What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you No, we all for do what you're doing right now, right now Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking all oh, loud I know I want you Long time since the last time Got a tab, we could run up Knew you from the way, now we grown up My look, yeah, made the realest ones nervous But if you want it, tap in I think that I know somewhere That we could go to crash land We could keep the pace on slow jam Don't leave me on red Can we go back where we first began? No plans, all we have is the moment Now I'm paid by the sentence, taking my time with it. Baby, give me your. That's where that burn comes in. And then as soon as you stop, 10 to 15 seconds later, it goes away. That doesn't really necessarily tear the muscle fibers down as much as strength training with resistance, okay? When you put a dumbbell in your hand and you stretch your glute and you make it squeeze back together, that stretching and squeezing creates little micro tears in your glutes that have to regenerate and heal and get stronger. And that's where you see growth. That's where you see strength. Okay, so make sure you're not just chasing the burn. Make sure you're putting resistance on the stretch and contraction of your glutes. That's where you're going to see these gains. Hey, you in a text voice, note an emoji. Waiting on me for your name on the ID. So if you want it, tap in. I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash in. And we could keep the pace on slow jam. Don't leave me on bread. Can we go back where we first began? No plans. All we have was the moment. Put a bit of perfume on. This is Rihanna's perfume, actually. Is this Fenty? No, it's not Fenty. That's makeup, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, this is one of Rihanna's perfumes that she has. It's very nice. Nobody is going to smell me today. But I love to put perfume on. Like, even though no one knows I'm wearing it, it just makes me feel so good knowing that I've got perfume on. Anyone else? Sometimes when I'm going to bed, I'll also spray a bit of perfume then too because I just like smelling nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you see that spider this morning? That spider is still here, like somewhere in this living room and it actually creeps me out. I don't know how I'm gonna teach because I'm just gonna keep looking over to see if I can spot it. It was stuck where all of the Wi-Fi cables are and like with lots of plugs where the TV is and everything. So it wasn't easy for me to get to. Plus I was in the middle of my workout. I did not appreciate being interrupted by an eight-legged creature. When I do my workout, I don't stop, I don't pause, unless I'm absolutely bursting for the toilet. But most of the time, once I start, I just carry on. But that spider, <laughs> I could not focus i kept getting so distracted happy monday i hope you're all having a lovely day uh it's a new day it's a new dawn <laughs> oh that sounds familiar it's a new dawn it's a new day it's a new week for me and i'm feeling good happy monday i've got my first class in four minutes Oh, three minutes, so I should probably go now. <laughs> First, I have to my like, kinder water and I didn't go home. I went to the CMS and do my work and go home. Ah, okay, okay. So a busy Monday. Yes, I was sick, so I stay home and play with my dad and my sister. 
Oh, I'm sorry you're feeling sick. Are you okay today? Okay. My socks are green. Are the socks the boys or the girls? Girls. Girls. Very good. Well done. She's putting all, all of her cars down on the table Knowing there's no way that she'll be able to win this one But she's somebody else in the making First, she's just gotta stop all the faking And she'll be... It's lunchtime. I'm so excited to sit down and just not think about anything for how much long have I got? Oh, I've only got about 25 minutes left or so. It's crazy, an hour lunch just flies by. Like, I don't even know what I've been doing for the last 20 minutes. So yeah, about to eat my chicken wrap. Oh, it's about to burn. Oh dear, I think I've done it a little bit too hot. I keep burning things recently. One of my students, bless her, she was falling asleep in class. How many letters can you see? And she was like, I can see six letters. Like she was actually sleeping. Um, but bless her, I think it was like 10 o'clock in Korea. So for a seven year old, that is really, really late. I kept saying to her, are you okay? Are you all right? And she was like, yeah, I'm fine. And I was saying, are you sleeping? It's all right. And she was like, I oh, know I'm not sleeping, I'm okay. I have not yet seen the spider. Uh, I have been keeping an eye out for it. So while I've been teaching, I've definitely been looking over <laughs> just to double check that I can't see it running across the living room floor. <sighs> Um, but so far, it's still hiding. And if it knows what's best for it, it will stay hiding. Mmm, that's really good. I love wraps. I just think they're so tasty. Bon appetit. Oh my god, it's, it's 11 minutes past one. My class starts in like three minutes. Here I am <laughs> watching a YouTube video. Uh, not realizing that the time is going because my alarm did not go off. I set an alarm. I always set an alarm when I've finished lunch or like to let me know that my next class is happening, but the alarm didn't go off. So it's rush, 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 rush. Oh my gosh, but I'll be fine, I'll be fine. And I need a wee as well, but I don't have time. <laughs> So I finished teaching now, woohoo! It was a pretty full on day today, so I'm feeling tired, yeah, you know, as you do. Oh, I had this student, bless her, she's about 11 years old or something, and recently she's been doing like a new routine to her curly hair, um, and her curls are looking popping, like absolutely gorgeous curls. She's from Saudi Arabia. And uh, I noticed her curls were like so shiny today and like really nice definition, nice bounce and volume. So I said to her, oh, your curls look really nice today, really lovely. And she was like, oh, thank you, thank you. And for the whole of class, I'm not even exaggerating, she was like this. And I was trying so hard not to laugh. What did you have for dinner? And then she would just be like, um, for dinner I had uh, rice. <laughs> I should ask her for her curl routine. I should say to her, you know, what's your wash and go? What hair products do you use? Because her hair looked really beautiful, did look gorgeous. It's time to crack on with some editing. I would say that this is 
kind of my favourite part of the day. I absolutely love editing. Like, I just find it so much fun. It can be stressful, don't get me wrong, and it can be so time consuming. Editing takes hours and hours and hours. It's such a long process. Even if you're editing a 10 minute video, it still takes hours to do. It takes a lot of time, but it's just so rewarding because as you take clips of things throughout the day, you kind of can't remember everything that you filmed. And a part of you thinks like, oh, I don't actually know what footage I've got. Like, I don't know what video this is gonna be like. And then as you're editing it and you're putting the clips together, you can kind of see the story unfold. I mean, not that my vlogs are stories, they're basically, obviously they're vlogs, but it's just really cool to see everything unravel, you know? going from your head, from an idea, a video idea, to then you filming something, but still not being sure of what you've done because it's all very rough cut, obviously. And then piecing it all together. Like it's just a very satisfying feeling. Like I remember when I started YouTube, uh, when did I start? 2016, was it 2016 or 17? Something like six or seven years ago I started YouTube. And my very first video, which I still remember was a June favourites video. Please don't go back and watch that because it's embarrassing really. Uh, <laughs> it took me 13 and a half hours to edit and it was like the most simple video ever but obviously I had never edited a video before. I had no idea how to use anything and yeah, it took me 13 and a half hours to do it and I remember I stayed up all night, all through the morning I didn't go to sleep until about eight in the morning because I started editing it really, really late at night. I just carried on throughout the whole night. And uh, yeah, pulled an all-nighter because I was just like determined to finish editing it because I was finding it really frustrating at first because I couldn't get the hang of it. And I remember I was going to my auntie's the next day for dinner, for like Sunday dinner and I was so tired. <laughs> and my auntie was like, why are you so tired? And then I was like, oh, I've been editing a video and it took me 13 and a half hours. So yeah, so it's funny to think that back then, editing was just such a bind and such a chore. And now I really enjoy it. I always think to myself, I would love to have like a whole day of editing, like wake up in the morning and just edit for the rest of the day. To me, that just sounds so dreamy. Uh, maybe one day, perhaps. Whenever you're down. 20 to 8. Gosh, time flies by. There are not many things that I can do continuously without stopping before I'm like getting bored or just feeling like I need a bit of a rest, but. Editing is one of those things that once I start, I can't stop. I have to like pull myself away and be like, okay, that's it now, June. So I need to call Hot Point, which is the make of my washing machine, because I need an engineer to come out uh, because my washing machine is broken. Lovely. Um, so yeah, I need to get someone to come out. So let's give them a call. Thank you for calling Whirlpool UK Appliances Limited. To help improve your experience, calls may be recorded for quality, trade and purposes. We may use your personal details in case we need to contact you. The washing machine does the majority of the cycle, but then once it gets to the part where it's supposed to spin and pump the clothes, it just stops and it comes up with this code saying F05. Have you got anything for Wednesday? Okay, so between 12 and 6. All right, brilliant, thank you. Thanks, bye.
So the last thing I wanted to do was a bit of journaling because I haven't done any in I think over a week. So yeah, it might seem like, oh that's not that productive. Uh, but to me, journaling is very important because, yeah, it's all well and good doing practical things that you need to do, but you also need to also look after your mind as well. That's very important. And journaling is a bit like a form of therapy for me. It's like a free form of therapy. Yeah, looking after your mental health and taking care of your mind is really important. So I'm glad I just took about 20 minutes or so to just brain dump and just say what was on my mind and yeah the three things I said I was grateful for were <laughs> so like I do a bit of a brain dump where I just talk about whatever it is I want to talk about so what's happening in my life you know what I'm feeling uh, and then at the end I always write three things that I'm grateful for so the three things I wrote were that I had a good sleep last night that was great the second thing was <laughs> Sounds really silly, but that I'm having avocado with my dinner. Uh, I'm very excited for that because I really wanted avocado with my dinner yesterday because I had salmon and rice and avocado. Well, avocado goes well with everything, but avocado and salmon and rice, so good. But I couldn't have it yesterday because I didn't have enough calories. But today I do, so I'm very excited for that. Uh, and the third thing I said I was grateful for was the mornings are getting lighter and the nights are getting lighter as well. So I feel like summer is on the way because I can just tell that it's not as quite as gloomy as it has been. Um, so like when I go for my morning walks, I'm not in pitch black. It's just really, really nice. So yeah, that's something that I wrote as well. So those are the three things that I was grateful for. Yeah, they can be anything. Like they could be the most simple Thing ever or it could be something that is like really deep and meaningful um, but I think it's nice to have a mixture of both anyway so yeah I wanted to make the effort to do that because journaling is productive looking after your mental health is productive I'm gonna go and make dinner and just get on with my evening routine because time is getting on uh, but thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one bye